What's up, guys? Welcome to Off the Great Wall. I'm Dan. Hey, I'm Mikey. Hey, we all love a good Japanese product, right? Especially their cars, electronics. I drive a Honda. Ah, uh, Toyota right here. But not every invention that comes out of Japan is that ingenious. Okay, uh, hang on a second. I'm, I'm sorry. Ingenious is probably too kind of a word. Uh, just plain weird. And here's a look at the crazy inventions that's come out of Japan. Number one, the full body umbrella. This is basically a full body rain force field and it looks like it will prevent any rain, wind, human contact. You know what, this is actually pretty ingenious because during a thunderstorm my pants always get wet. Uh, you should ask not from like you being scared of fighting. No. No, but seriously, it totally protects you from the rain. Yeah, so you drag this uh, body length shower curtain around with you. Isn't that awkward when you walk and like the wind is super strong and the plastic is probably sticking right up against you? Also, when you get into a store, I mean, where do you put that whole plastic sheet thing? Yeah, okay. Number two, the umbrella tie. No, it's not a tie that looks like an umbrella. It's actually an umbrella that you wear as a tie. This one is so weird. So what, when it rings, you just like uh, whip out your tie slash umbrella and then afterwards, I mean, what do you put that nasty wet umbrella tie back on your collar? Yeah, and I'm assuming that the umbrella is stiff. So how does a guy bend over with his upper body with the umbrella sticking out? So we're on a roll talking about umbrellas, so let's just keep going. Uh, next we have the shoe umbrella. I really like this one. You would? Yeah. Okay, there's no words for how useless this thing is. Uh, I would beg to differ. Um, this, imagine if you had a pair of expensive shoes. These would keep the rain off. Like, if Carrie Bradshaw had a pair of Manolo Blahniks, you don't want them getting wet in a thunderstorm, right? Am I right? Okay, you know, you know, I get that. The biggest problem you might have with these shoes is that they don't match your outfit. But come on, take a look at them. Would these really prevent the rain from splashing on your feet? You got a point there. Number four, the baby floor wipe onesie. This had to be an Asian invention, right? So I guess the concept of this is that your baby crawls around the floor anyway. Well, you might as well put an outfit on him so he could clean the floor at the same time. Yep, only Asians can come up with an idea on how to utilize their kid for free labor as soon as they're born. Yeah, this takes the cake. I mean, this is basically working at infancy. Okay. And if the baby throws up, well, it'll just crawl all over its own mess and clean it up. Yeah. How convenient. That would be the theory behind it. Number five, the mobile toilet paper dispenser slash hat. Okay, I really don't know what the purpose of this thing really is because uh, if you're using it just for blowing your nose when you have a cold, wouldn't you use like regular paper tissues? And if you're using this for like, in case you're going number two anywhere you want, then why are you showcasing it on your head? Yeah, and then what if it rains? Then you're just gonna get a big roll of soggy toilet paper on your head. You know, that's why you have the rain force field umbrella. I have to say, this is a great invention because I find myself needing tissues all the time. So you wanna put a roll of toilet paper on your head. When you sneeze, when you got snot in your nose, when you pick your nose and you got no place to wipe it, it's pretty, it comes pretty handy, I think. Number six, I think this one would actually be useful in New York. The commuter chin stick thing. This thing looks like someone's on the guillotine and they're about to get their head chopped off. Yup, and I'm guessing the train in Japan is super smooth because if you're using this actually on a New York subway, contrary to what you're saying, uh, this won't really work because this whole extender thing will just topple over. Also, you can't use this during rush hour. Like, how are you, how are you gonna squeeze the stand into rush hour train? You know, I have fallen asleep on the New York subway while standing before. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Did you fall asleep on somebody? No, literally, I, I was holding the pole and I fell asleep on my own bicep. All right, well, I don't know how you used to standing up because wouldn't the rest of your body give out and you just like break your own neck on the chin holder thing? Anyway, on the same lines, uh, there's another product here. It looks like the commuter helmet. So if you can score a seat and only a window seat will do, you can use this helmet instead of the uh, chin stand death trap. Yep, this helmet slash plunger suctions itself to the glass and lets you rest in comfort inside this industrial helmet. Okay, I could see a nightmare scenario happening. She wakes up, freaks out, forget about the toilet helmet thing stuck to the window, tries to run out of door and get like severe whiplash. Number eight. This one's really weird. The kneeling toilet stand for men. Okay, we did a vid on the Squatty Potty, which we both own and love. 
But what is this? Apparently there's a group of men, at least in this inventor's world, that is so lazy, they do not want to stand and pee. So they have to kneel on this contraption. Right, and look at the person in this ad. He looks so happy to not having to pee standing up. It's like, that's one of the only good things about being a guy is that we get to pee standing up. Yeah, I would think it's more work to pee kneeling down. It is, and it's just not natural. I mean, when have you ever peed kneeling down in your life? Number nine, the solar energy lighter. I guess this is the uh, organic way to light a cigarette, I guess. Uh, I mean, we both don't smoke, but is it really less of a hassle to not bring a lighter, but fit like a huge magnifying glass and a stand in your pocket instead? Yeah, and you can't smoke unless the sun is out, so no smoking at night or when it's cloudy. Yeah, this thing is just whack. <laughs> Number 10, the boyfriend pillow. This thing just looks awkward. Right, if a pillow could be creepy, this would be that pillow. You know what, Mike? I do see huge potential for this product. You can uh, sell different uh, types of shirts, you know, cotton, silk, different designs. I see it being highly customizable. Okay, uh, let us know, ladies, if you would ever consider buying this. And guys, don't feel left out. There's a pillow for you as well. It's called the girlfriend knee pillow. Yeah, how come these ads always have creepy old dudes in it? Okay, I get the boyfriend pillow uh, because that's kind of like a normal sleeping position between a couple, but when do women knee on the ground for like hours while a dude just sleeps on their knees? I mean, wouldn't their knees go numb? This is truly creepy stuff. Actually, you know what I find actually pretty useful that they invented? What? Those eyedroppers that are funnels, because then you could actually just drop the eyedrop anywhere and it'll get in your eye. That's pretty good. Or you can just drop it in your eye. I know, but it's harder. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you see the I mean, dropper. It's your eyeball I'm, is I'm just saying of the all dropper. the useless inventions, that one has merit. I'm just saying, that one, that one I would use. I'm still creeped out by that girlfriend pillow. Anyways, guys, we hope you liked that video. Make sure you share, subscribe, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Later.